I was inspired to write this book by a very strange kind of um, policy that we had in the city of Philadelphia, which was um, our public transportation authority uh, used to require that everybody who bought a monthly pass uh, had to have a sex sticker, basically a gender marker, either M for male or F for female, mm -hmm. on their pass. And this created a lot of uh, what I call sex identity discrimination within the city. And in particular, um, one transgender woman, uh, Charlene Arcilla, who's a friend of mine and an activist uh, for trans rights in Philadelphia, um, brought a lawsuit against the company for gender identity discrimination because when she offered her uh, F mark pass, she was turned away. Uh, the individual bus driver said, you can't use this because in my opinion, you're not a woman, you're not a real woman. And then so she brought back a pass with an M sticker on it and the same thing happened, you're not a real man, um, so you can't use the pass. And this got me thinking, if we think, you know, in that case, it's pretty clear that there's no legitimate reason to have our sex identity marked on a pass to get on a bus. Um, and this, you know, in the city of Philadelphia, this sparked a lot of grassroots activism to get the sex stickers removed from SEPTA's bus passes. Eventually, the city got rid of them, but it never admitted that it had um, discriminated against Charlene or anybody else based on their gender identity. Um, yeah, and it really got me thinking, if, if, if this is ridiculous in this instance, then what about other sex-marked IDs that we carry around, like our driver's licenses, passports, birth certificates? Um, are they necessary?